I'll never get used to this. I'm already used to it, dude. <laughs> oh, so this is Harry's. Oh, Harry, what's uh, what's going on in your head? Belle says she's fine, but I'm gonna keep an eye on her. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I had a nightmare that Belle killed herself, so I checked on her just to be sure. I hope I didn't wake her. Grant would have wouldn't have checked on her. That dick doesn't know how to care for a lady, not a lady like Belle. Oh my God. Oh no. <laughs> I sure hope nobody catches me growing these herbs. The space is so empty and cold, and Belle seems to seems like she needs the comfort. I don't care if I get caught, but if I did get caught, Belle would know that I'd truly do anything for her. Okay, well, no wait. Belle seems super frustrated today. I stopped asking her what was wrong because she got really mad at me the other day when I did that. I feel like I'm making her angrier every time I speak to her. She's upset and I can't do anything about it. Um, uh, I would suggest not. Not? Yeah. Just not. I would suggest not. She spoke to me today. I'm so glad everything is okay. I lost so much sleep over her last night. If she only knew, she'd feel so special. Wow. Grant keeps bringing his goddamn cat into the sleeping block. I'm allergic and he knows it. I shouldn't need a shot of epinephrine every every time I go to bed. He thinks he's a badass because he managed to sneak a cat on board. Belle probably thinks he's so cool. Why can't she see he's a total dick? I decided to stay on the Groom Lake so that I can be with Belle. I don't like it here, but I love her. Oh my god. Whoa. Some guy in engineering says that there's a fungus on the ship. I wonder if it's poisonous. If it is, I bet I could hijack a lifeboat to fly Belle home. <laughs> this guy is like, really? Oh, oh my god. The fungi is all over in hydroponics. I have an idea, though. What if we engineer another invasive fungus to take out the alien one? I honestly don't think it'll work. I suggested it as a joke at first, but Belle thought it was such a great it was a great idea, so now we have to do it. Okay. Grant's been following Belle and I everywhere. I know she thinks he can keep her safe, but I know he can't. He's so full of himself. This is some, this is a love scribbly line. This is like some high school drama right here. I think Grant's cat died during the tremors and the chaos. Good fucking riddance. The guy's been sobbing for almost a day now. Maybe now Belle will understand that he's not fit to protect her. I think I'd die for Belle. I think it's what? <laughs> well, he. We've already established that he's like. This is just a random thought for him, though. Well, you know what? Oh though? wait, it's December twenty-sixth. Never mind. Yeah. Well, and also this is like over the course of a long time that they've been on the ship, so like I can understand why. You know, because at first I was thinking like, okay, like you've just you know, you've just met this person. How can you love them? But like, probably not. No, you know? that's not what I was thinking. I just thinks it's a very strange, random thought to have. But then I looked at the date and realized that's when the monster's out. Yeah. You ever, like, when you're 14, you're like, yeah, I'd die for them. Like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nobody really, you don't really know, like, what. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's pretty much been established that something's running around and killing people. I'm going to fight it when I see it. It'll only get to bell over my dead body. She'll die knowing that I gave my life just to tack a couple seconds onto hers. And that's when she goes, fuck off. Yeah. I'm leaving. I don't care if that monster eats me. Mm-hmm. You know what, Harry? I'm gay. With Samantha. Who is Samantha? <laughs> that thing. That <laughs> thing. <laughs> she gets weird. <laughs> The scattered cots would offer a restful solitude if it weren't for the human innards that lie between them. Well, just scoop them off. Swipe it off. Take a nap. I wonder... Yeah. Huh. You can tell about the, from the uneven placement of the sleeping cots that some force has scattered them from their original positions. Just scoop... Just wipe off the meat and lay down. It's not like you have any... Yeah, we oh. could just take a nap. Oh, bed locker. 
I wonder if their choice of making it seem as if he's naked. Oh, we got a thing. What do we get? Linen bed sheet. Ah. Uh, I wonder if their choice to make it like his his suit to look like he's almost naked just to like make him seem more vulnerable. Mm hmm. I mean, if he was wearing an exoscoot suit or something, we'd be like, "Oh, he's fine," but you're like, oh, "He's almost naked." Well, they he's also vulnerable. they also probably wouldn't keep somebody with like a huge suit on them if they were just in a pod like that. I know, but they never give them the choice to like find clothes or something. Mm. So I wonder what we can do with this linen sheet. I wonder if we can turn it into a nice swag outfit to get into the <laughs> entertainment <laughs> lot. <laughs> I want to go party. I came here to party. What do you think you're gonna do? Uh, well, I mean, there's a party in there, so clearly we want to get in there. No, that's ridiculous. I don't think that'll work. Mm. I want to go to the party. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> How do we go to the party? Do you I know? know? There's steam coming underneath that door. Is that? The that means it's a hot party. Hot? No, that one. The tram station. Well. Can you open the walkthrough so I know oh, the, yeah. how to get to the party? Oh, I know what we can do. Oh, we can jump through the ho the thing. Yeah, because we got the bed sheet. Oh now. yeah. Sorry, I was trying to like figure out where we were. No, I know. Don't worry. Just like escaping from home. God, I can't believe that's working. Okay, now let's see what I can do. All right, dude. <sighs> Easy goes. Why are we? Whatever. Oh, oh god. Shit. Oh shit! Woo! Oh god. Okay, it's not the acid. It's fine. Or is it the acid? Are we dead? Oh, we died. We did? I don't know. We're not moving. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Damn it! How the hell am I gonna get back up? God, John, you're gonna get yourself killed! Hey, this is all new to me. Move, dude. Ugh. D oh, here we go. Hustle up, dude. Ugh, gross. The path of these ducks forms a wave that runs. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh where was it? It's okay. <gasps> We're close to the party. Look at these people died from partying. Yep. Oh my god. Every t okay. Um, every time like in a movie or whenever like you see the characters going through like sludge and shit, all I can think about is how that would get up in my vagina. Hmm. Yeah. Because it's not like there's like like a gate locking it. I know? wonder if there can be some sort of contraption made for like, I don't know, female, or I mean soldiers who have vaginas to like put a plug in there. A badge plug. For what purpose? If they have to go into something gross. If they have to go through a sewer. I mean, penises have urethras too. Yeah, but they have smaller ones. Smaller yeah. hole. Or the vag hole is bigger. Cavernous? Minus. <laughs> I have a huge vagina. It's absolutely enormous. Just enormous. You're just worried that you know it's going to be so like... big, guys. <laughs> you know that that turns you on. <laughs> You're that that's that's how it works, like... right? You yeah. want big Big penises I mean, you and big vaginas. You don't want those huge, like, human remains getting wedged up out there without you your stick knowledge. A lot of things in my vag. Like it's dead rabbits? Whole. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Why did you bring that up? You're welcome! I'm not gonna explain that reference. I'm just gonna make Stacy seem some sort of sick weirdo. Haha! <laughs> They've, I, some, I guarantee you some people have heard me make that reference before. No. Nope. No, we talked about it. It's gonna be it. a new subscriber and they're gonna be like, what? What the fuck? fuck. 
That I'm one girl has a gigantic cavernous vagina. And she shoves dead and rabbits in it. And her friend wants to shove dead rabbits in there. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with them? <laughs> uh. Anyway, let's look at this corpse. This is why we shouldn't play Oh, you can see what the cor- who the corpse war- is. Oh. Hello. John Kernast. Kane Corporation. Oh, yeah, because they have the personal data tag, so we could see who all the bodies are. I haven't even been looking at that. At first glance, the half. The skin looks. Dissolved. They. Your bug suit should protect you from any harmful chemicals. For a short while, at least. I'm just saying that the party above was so amazing that their faces melted. That's what happened. At first glance, the half submerged. Skeleton appears seems to lurk in wait like a prehistoric predator. Okay. Uh, Brendan Brown, Remy Bunn. Oh, okay. So, Bond oh, Brady. finally we get to go to the party. A lump of metal has fallen from this jungle of alloys. I want to go to where. It- Whoa! <laughs> That's fucking rad. <laughs> oh my god! For real, they died partying. Are these <laughs> ping pong tables? <laughs> They died partying, I'm telling you, this is fuck and that lady's naked. <laughs> oh my god. See that these people were just killed. I did it skin. Eaten. No. I went hunting with my uncle when I was a kid. I know what skinny looks like. I did it myself, but when I saw it. I'm a vegetarian. Um well, dead bodies. Two bodies lie splayed on this pool table. They may have tried to escape what killed the others here. Maybe some acids poured on them. Oh yeah. Maybe like. Maybe the party was so hot their faces melted off. That's oh that's yeah that's definitely the it. party was just too sick. So intense. Or maybe they they reached an, a higher la- a higher plane of partying. <laughs> that that like holograph is like kind of freaky, huh? Um, no, because she's naked. Therefore, I don't think it's she's good. naked. I think she is. She looks like she's wearing a bathing suit or something. Cause you can't see her ass crack. Yes, you can see right there. Oh. Trust me, Stacy. I already looked. <laughs> the skeletal remains lie clustered together around the room as if they died in a stampede or clutching each other. Somehow the bones hold no scraps of flesh. Hmm. Maybe nanobites ate them. Like a swarm of nanobites. It seems like maybe acid or something. Yeah, probably. They're oh, probably... there's a PDA. Or maybe acid- acidic mist. Yeah. This is a sick beat. I know. I like this. Neville Chambers. Wait, I want to listen to the music. It sounds familiar. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. I've listened to a lot of house music. It definitely sounds familiar, but that's because, like... It all sounds the same? It's not that it all sounds the same, but it's like you come to, like, a lot of things sound familiar, unless it's something, like, really out there. Mm-hmm. I can't believe I'm actually in space! I know that a whole lot of people have been here, but you really don't appreciate the cosmos until you see it from beyond the Earth's atmosphere. It's not something to be taken for granted. I hope this is just, this is the beginning of a long journey for me. If I could just live in the void for eternity, I would give anything. This guy wrote that on Molly. Uh, what? It was a joke. Oh. Because we're in a party thing, and he's like writing it in this club, like I'm in space. Oh, got it. I don't miss Earth at all. Unbelievably, the gazes of passing asteroids are less cold than most humans. It's amazing to see all of the constellations up close and personal. Mm. I've I've started writing a comic about myself, the space adventure. <laughs> Although I have just been sweeping and dusting on the Groom Lake, I know it's my key to becoming one with the cosmos. All these people are extremely real and cringy. You like, know, these are all like nerds. Yeah. What? No, I was just thinking. About what you would write if you were in space? It'd be horrible. Probably some horrible poetry. What was that? There was a website that I used to post poetry on. Don't tell them. 
No, I don't remember what it was, um, and it was under some sort of pseudonym. But it was all horrible. September 11th. My comic book is coming along nicely. Oh my God. I've decided that I'm not going to make myself a superhero, but I'll lead a team of super geniuses and we'll use the power of the universe oh. to save it. My sidekick is Carl Sagan. Einstein pilots the bridge pond. That's my awesome ship. And Hawking crushes <laughs> stuff with his cybernetic limbs. Issue one, done. This is the true horror of the game. This, this is, is where it really gets scary. This might be my favorite character because <laughs> it's just so like... <laughs> Couldn't you picture being that? I'm gonna post it on reddit.com and link it and sell it for free because I don't believe in money. <laughs> <laughs> that That's like the, like this being like, couldn't you, you would be the super dork if you were in space. Come on. I know, but it's like, yeah. I'd be the person fucking Samantha like a normal person. Mm-hmm. Despite what I've been through, I still love space. I've seen enough movies to know how this is going to end for me. I wish my comic books hadn't been lost in the tremors. Oh. They were pretty much my final testament. I even finished issue six. We destroy a race of paras parasitic squid-like guys, except we keep one as a pet and train it to fight for us. It also bites Einstein, who gets a cool scar as a result. Anyway, it's too late for that. I'm going to spend my final days taking in the universe through any window I can find. Peace out, universe. I can't hate him. No. Too rad. Too rad. I feel, I imagine a person who just wears laser, laser sunglasses. I don't know what laser sunglasses are, but whatever it is, it would be called laser sunglasses. Mm-hmm. Like you, like they would be sun, they would be glasses, but in the lenses would be laser beams that go across, look at me, like this. Mm -hmm. Across, like you know how they had those glasses that were shades? You know they would, instead you'd, of the shades go, it would be laser blind, beams. right? And then you could put eye patches on both your eyes. And you'd be very cool. Yeah. Yeah. They'd be eyeball safe lasers. Uh. It's the future, Stacy. I can do anything. Nope. I can get a new uterus, I can fucking a monster from space. That's just a spinal cord. You can't tell me how to live my life. Hmm. Let's see if we can do we holographic emitter. Leave a comment below. Would you may wear sunglasses that are like those sunglasses that are like shades where they go across like in lines, but instead of the thing, but instead of the pieces of plastic, they would be laser beams. <sighs> would you wear those glasses? You're trying so hard. I'm not trying at all. I'm following my heart, which is laser beam sunglasses. Okay. Uh. This looks like a recent edition. Can I, like, take it for parts, or are we just gonna stare at her? I don't know. I guess we can't do anything with it? Oh, can we maybe, like, the drill? No. Can't do anything. Guess we just touch dead bodies. Just for a dead while. bodies everywhere. Tree. Uh, around the the room. name of the club glares in radiant neon, whose ultraviolet light dances around the room. This room must have been zoned for smoking, as a cigarette vending machine sits idle here. In space, this is the true libertarian wasteland. Drill it. <laughs> we must get space cigarettes. Wow. Let's see if I, we can probably go out that way, right? Oh yeah. Nope. What? Cause it's locked. Huh. They must have been locked in here too, that's why we wouldn't be able to open it. Okay. Let me check out, uh... Oh. So, we actually... We actually can get the holographic emitter. Oh, how? With the drill. I clicked the drill. This is a 
useful drill. Oh, maybe we can use that to get the monster to get distracted by that and try to eat her. Be like, here you go, Samantha! She's all yours! Man, Samantha would be so pissed. Let's get and uh, pick up the pool cue. My favorite character is Samantha. Where? Oh, here. And Yay. smash the cigarette machine. With the pool cue? Yep. And then we'll get cigarettes, which I assume is a valuable bartering thing. Um, lighter. Oh. Much, much more useful than cigarettes, I think. Yeah, fire. Fire! And then we just leave, right? Um, yeah, go to the place where you first entered. And then, and then we keep going. I'm so glad we got to party. Oh, you know what though? The good thing is, is that they're wearing suits, so the suits will should keep out the sludge from the urethra. You know, because the liquid's not going in the suit. It's not like it's a scuba suit. Yeah. Well, this is the like only I way said, that I'm okay with this. I have a huge gaping maw of a vagina, so <laughs> it's like a sarlacc gets in pit. It. Yeah. Uh, it has teeth and eats men and digests them for a thousand years. <laughs> and has tentacles that come out and grab them. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's more bodies over there. And nothing interesting about them. They're just dead. They're just dead. Mm -hmm. One of the reviews I read was... Uh, it has a story and it wants to show you a lot of dead bodies along the way. <laughs> what was that? I missed it. I only saw it out of the corner of my eye. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh! <laughs> Jupiter! God damn cat. Telling you, cats always survive. In every space horror genre, because whoever makes the thing likes cats too much. Yeah. Artists are cats lovers, so the cats are never gonna die unless they're weird. Well, and they also in movies usually like unless like the dog dying is part of the plot, mm -hmm. like they won't kill the dog because that's like one of those too much. Like that one movie I like Volcano where like. I just watched a man lose his legs burning in lava, and then there I was like, oh, are they going to kill the dog? Yeah. Like, oh my god, <laughs> Volcano is the exact movie I was thinking of where they show the dog, and you're like, oh no! I know! Ah. Like, some guy dies, like, standing in lava, and I'm like, mm. Uh huh. And then mm. the dog's like in almost danger, and I'm like, oh, and the dog comes back to get his bone. And I'm like, no, dog, don't go back to get your bone. Don't, don't. No, you have to go. Don't you understand? You're in danger. Yeah. And then the dog survives, and I was like, I'm gonna turn this off. The dog dies. <laughs> well, because they can, they can never kill the dog. It's like killing children. You know that. Well, sometimes they do kill the dog. Yeah. Oh, we here. Offer it some human flesh. Oh no. What, why can't we walk towards the cat? Is the cat, like, <laughs> impenetrable? <gasps> I can't believe that just happened. Oh! Hilarious! I think that's our fault. Yeah! I think it's our fault because we were supposed to lure the cat to us. Oh my god. We're like, no, 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 the cat won't die. It's fine. Wow. Oh, don't go near the hole where it just got eaten. What are you doing? Eh. So the sweet release of death would be preferable right now. Me too. Kill me too. Oh. oh. Whoa. Zane Adams. Every day, every single day, Grant brings poor little cat to the plant. I swear to God, it's going to die of methane inhalation. I did a number on my ankle. Doc says I'll need to keep any weight off of it for a few days. I hope Grant can pick up the slack for me. Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, Some of these idiots think that the fungus spreading through the Groom Lake was caused by aliens. This place is disgusting, so of course it's going to be overrun with mold. 
guys, it's alien. Guys, it's alien fungus. And he's like, no, you're dirty, okay? <laughs> no, you're dirty, and we do experiments on humans. Yeah. Obviously, it's some sort of monstrous mold that we created. It's pretty clearly our fault. A few guys tried to get tram station B repaired. I wanted to go and help, but I didn't know shit about trams or stations. Anyway, they haven't come back yet, so everyone's more than a little worried. The guys in the sleeping block B are absolutely fucked. I'm reasonably sure that we're next. Stacy almost didn't make it in. Poor girls- Oh no, Stacy. It's, it's spelled wrong, so okay. I'm not worried. Poor girl's too young for this. What- that's a- that's a funny thought. Who is old enough for this? Who reaches a point in their life where they figure they're ready to be ripped apart by God knows what? Is that weird that, like, every time I see, like, a Stacy, if their name isn't spelled like mine, it, like, completely ruins the immersion? I'm like, no, that's not. I don't know. Ever since the started, channel started, I've seen 18 More different ways to spell your name. Yeah. I've seen Stacy spelled with 18 letters once. It's an exaggeration. But I was reading and I was like, I've never seen that. Yeah, I know. It's really weird. Yeah, one time I said it's spelled S T A E C I E. And I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> There's like S T A Y C E E. There's like all sorts of spellings for it. Stay C? Like literally stay C. Okay. Um. Uh oh. What are we wandering area. into now? I don't know. Oh dear. Sewage! What? Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess... We got things pumping in. We want them pumping... Tim, methane is explosive, right? Highly. Why would there be methane tanks under the crew quarters? Kane doesn't care about safety. They're driven by profit. Yeah, idiot. Um. Uh, so. Oh, look. This is the elevator to the annex. Can you climb it? No. It's just the shaft. I can't see an entrance. I think that we have to drain the thing. Hold on. I'll click on things while you try to... Do -do -do. Wonder. He's leaking my thing tank. Use the pump station terminal, you'll see graphics, where you have to set valves to either raise or lower the sewage level. There are a total of six valves, and each of them will have two possible positions. Ah, okay, I get it. If you studied the pump station diagram earlier, which we didn't. Why didn't you study the pump station diagram? You noticed that the lights were lit for the raised level and under the lights there were graphical presentations painted on What the fuck are they talking about? I have no idea. But why don't you just make it look like that? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, if you look, uh, studied the thing, you dumbass. Like, what? Um... Is that what it looks like? Hold on, let me... But let me... There's there's more directions there. Okay. So let me see... So using the pump station to change the valve settings for the... Save them for the first... Change them for the first three valves. For the last three, you need to just... First, put them to some random settings, then push the thing. Okay, then change something and okay, then change something and try again. So keep the first one the same. Okay. Change this. Change that. And then no. Down, up, up, left, right, left. Those indicated by the wall graphic. Where's the wall graphic? I'm not sure. 
You don't think ours is different, do you? Oh, wait, I saw this thing over here. Okay, maybe it's different for each person's playthrough. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, that thing. Okay, so it's up, down, down, left, right, left. Well, oh! Down, up. Oh, it's down up. Okay, I could change it to down up. I get it. If I want it to drain, because there's two different options. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about killing you, cat. I'm not starting a new game. Wait. Down up. Yeah, down up up. And then it, it's either up, down, down, or down, up, up. The hell? It tells you what the what they are. I did. I did do everything they are. Okay. So using the pump station terminal, change the valve settings for the first three valves to those indicated by the wall graphic, which is down, up, up. So, I think. So okay. So we just gotta try every single combination for the last three. Yeah. on fire, I think. What? Pipe grip. No, go down the stairs. <sighs> go on the left. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. Exposed and broken pipes protrude. Since it's been three months since all of this happened. Yeah, you're a liar. Shouldn't there be a rescue mission on the way? No, we don't exist. This is a deep space vessel. It can operate indefinitely. If it wasn't for the psychological effects of deep space travel, she wouldn't even need a new crew. So nobody's looking for us. No, and even if they were, there's no way for them to find us. Three months is a long time adrift. <laughs> And also, this is a secret space station for people who do illegal things, so they shouldn't even know we exist. Well, and it's, remember that one thing said, like, to the public we don't exist, and even to Kane Corporation we don't exist? Hmm. Let's set this on fire. Oh, I don't think that's a bad idea. Eh. What do we have to lose? Our life? Good job! I think we're supposed to run away. Yeah. <laughs> I think so too. Achievement <laughs> unlocked. Blown up. 